ERP Nex is an integrated enterprise resource planning software designed for businesses to streamline and integrate key processes such as accounting, inventory, and customer relationship management. To begin with, click the Continue to Subscribe button. After subscribing, you will need to accept the terms and conditions. Click on Accept Terms to proceed. Please wait for a few minutes while the processing takes place. Once it's completed, click on Continue to Configuration. Select the CloudFormation template for ERP Next deployment. As the fulfillment option, choose the version and your preferred region. Afterward, click the Continue to Launch button. From the Choose Action drop-down menu in Launch This Software page, select Launch CloudFormation and click Launch button. Now we can create CloudFormation stack. Ensure the template is ready. Radio button is selected under Prepare Template. Click Next. Provide a unique stack name. Provide the admin email for SSL generation. For deployment name, enter a name of your choice. Provide a public domain name for domain name. ERP Next will automatically try to set up SSL based on provided domain name if that domain is hosted on Route 53. Please make sure your domain name is hosted on Route 53. Choose an instance type. Recommended is t3.medium. Select your preferred key name. Enter the S3 bucket name to store backup. Set SSH location as 0.0.0.0/0. Keep subnet CIDR block as 10.0.0.0/24. Keep VPC CIDR block as 10.0.0.0/16. Click next. Now we can configure stack options under stack failure options. Select Roll back all stack resources. Click Next. Review and verify the details you've entered. Tick the box that says, I acknowledge that a WS CloudFormation might create IAM resources with custom names. Click Submit. Afterward, you'll be directed to the CloudFormation Stacks page. Please wait for 5 to 10 minutes until the stack has been successfully created. Fast forwarding 5 to 10 minutes. After CloudFormation is created, we can update DNS. Copy the public IP labeled public IP in the Outputs tab. Go to AWS Route 53 and navigate to Hosted Zones. From there, click on Create Record and enter the domain name. Paste the copied public IP address into the value text box and click Create Record. Now you can access the ERP Next application. Through the dashboard URL provided in the Outputs tab, let's see how to generate SSL manually. Copy the public IP address indicated as public IP in the Outputs tab. Open the terminal and go to the directory where your private key is located. Paste the following command into your terminal and press Enter. SSH-I, your keyname, Ubuntu at public IP address. This will log you into the server. Paste the following command into your terminal and press enter and follow the instructions. sudo root certificate generate standalone.sh. Admin email is needed to generate SSL certificates. In our example, SSL certificate is already installed. Now you can access the RP Next dashboard. Use administrator as the username and admin as the password. Enjoy ERP next.